proceed with the uh, presentation. The first presentation is the financial plan presentation. This is the one that was held at the uh, public hearing, uh, and it will be presented by Councillor Frenier, who is the chair of the Finance and, and Amend Committee. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I said I would figure it out. We'll get through now. All right, so the presentation outline is we'll go over the budget highlights, mill rate comparison, tax result comparison. We won't be having question period. That was for our previous, uh, for our public hearing. We'll be having question period at the end of the council meeting, I should clarify. Uh, revenue highlights, 2014 was a reassessment year for properties to reflect how property values have changed since 2012. This resulted in an average increase to residential property values of 3.3% and an increase to commercial properties of 6.7%. Fees and fines increased by 3.4% consistent with the 2013 tax increase. So just two points on this slide is that assessments are now happen every two years versus every four years, which uh, we don't see such drastic changes. And the increase to the fees and fines is a principle that council agreed to, which was to increase fees and fines at the same rate as their tax increase. And uh, staff and committees also have the opportunity to ensure that those fees and fines that shouldn't be increased uh, are highlighted and not, um, not increased, and that was the same for this year. Uh, further highlights, the revenue of 165000 from the Northern Health Region for the purchase of equipment for the fitness area are reflected. That's the uh, fitness center at the Thompson Regional Community Center. The valet capital revenues of 750000 included in capital revenues. This year, Council allocated 600000 having it an equal amount for the five-year uh, GI grant in lieu with valet. 270,000 reduction to revenues reflecting the end of the federal police officer recruitment fund for funding of two additional municipal policing officers. So we will remain to have a full complement um, without this program. This is a breakdown of the revenues for the city of Thompson's budget, uh, starting with the blue here, 35% being tax levies. So that's your property tax uh, bills at 35% of our budget. You then see 20% grant in lieu, 17% provincial and federal grants, 13% uh, sale of uh, goods and services, 11% transfers, and then the smaller amounts being license permits and fines, rentals, taxes added, and penalties. The, proper, the breakdown of the property tax um, amount is the municipal taxes you see here in the blue at approximately 9 and the school district here at 7.814 and then the education support levy, business taxes and the special levy. Oops. Accommodation tax, the city budgets 500000 in revenues, and that's the <coughs> hotel accommodation tax. So this is paid by people who use the hotels within the city of Thompson. 60% of the, that um, budgeted amount goes to the infrastructure reserve, 20% to both the public safety and affordable housing reserve. And the projects that are funded under the accommodation tax, again, the hotel tax, on the slide you'll see 2013, but I'll just review the 2014 uh, projects. And you'll see in the infrastructure reserve, uh, equi equipment replacement, small capital, dump truck, trucks, tractor, uh, IT upgrades, the Burtwood Curling Club ice plant, our portion only. Uh, the club is definitely uh, investing in that. And the roof of the public safety building and cemetery upgrades. And for the uh, public safety reserve, we have the firefighter accountability system, defibrillators. <laughs> I mess this word up every time I say it, small capital, and the public safety building, and the youth at risk north. And through the affordable housing, our home key canal, which is the similar to the Habitat for Humanity um, project, homeless shelter, the Thompson Housing Agency. The highlights of our expenses, we have a status quo budget, um, including uh, con 
contractual increases, sorry, that with both the salaries with the um, collective bargaining agreement and the RCMP contract. Opening the fitness area that I mentioned earlier within the Thompson Regional Community Centre is incorporated in this budget. A new communications officer position is funded, and as we mentioned before, the reduction of the two funded RCMP officers. Again, leaving us with a full complement. The 2014 expenses just uh, portrayed in a chart, um, starting with the 33% here being protective services. And as we go through the end of the presentation, we will uh, describe what is included in these categories. So you'll see fiscal services uh, following with 21%, transportation services at 14%, 13% for recreational and cultural services, 8% uh, for general government, and then uh, the smaller areas including economic development, public health, environment, and transfers from reserves. Sorry. The year-over-year -year summary, you'll see the chart starting with 2008 and ending in 2014. The pinkish red color being our operating costs and the smaller um, purplish color is fiscal which is uh, mainly capital costs. And so really the point here is the consistency in our operating budget. Controlled entities, these are the agencies that have a specific relationship with the City of Thompson through public sector accounting principles, including the Thompson Recycle Center, the Thompson Zoo, the Thompson Housing Agency, Thompson Unlimited, and the Thompson Public Library. Due to investment and operational efficiencies at the Thompson Recycle Center, the funding requirements have been reduced for the second consecutive year for a total decrease of 17%. Funding for the library has increased by 5.5%. Debt reduction strategy is being implemented for those uh, controlled entities that have a deficit. And all other funding, oops, has remained status quo for 2014. And that's for the controlled entities. And you can see the allocation here from last year as well as this year. The Thompson Housing Agency, 50,000. The Thompson Public Library, 237,500. Thompson Zoo, 85,000. Thompson Unlimited, 150,000. And the Recycling Center, 260,000. And you can see the reductions and slight increases. The community groups that we fund more through a granting relationship uh, within the 2014 financial plan includes the museum at 53,000, the Humane Society at 31,126, and again that's a contract, homeless shelter 25,000, the Lions Park and Spiritway Partnership mm -hmm. for the park out um, where the plane is 20,000, Curling Club. That's the ice plant we are, or sorry, this is not the ice plant, this is the uh, insurance contribution at 9,000, the Youth at Risk North at 15,000, and the Ambassador Program at 15,000, which is a program in um, connection with the bylaw. The capital funding this year, we'll see zero property tax dollars being required for the purchase of capital for the second consecutive year. No new debentures, which is how the city borrows money, are being approved to leave sufficient room for the wastewater treatment plant, a major investment that the city of Thompson has to make in the near future, mm -hmm. so those dollars are being um, left unborrowed. The valet grant in lieu agreement includes an infrastructure program, and it's in the second year of the program that was negotiated by this council. Sources of capital funding. So this is a chart describing where we get those funds. Uh, starting here in the blue at 36%, gas tax. That is a federal program that has specific areas that we can invest those dollars in. Uh, then following being 18%, grants. The green, 18%, again, Valley Infrastructure front Fund. Purple, the Infrastructure Reserve. And again, the other small amounts being uh, other reserves, debentures, trusts, equipment reserve, public safety reserve, and other revenue. 
So just a listing again of the capital projects that will be going forward through this financial plan. UCN Drive West and the Thompson Drive intersection at 350000 and those dollars or that budgeted amount is coming from the gas tax revenues and the, gra the valet uh, grant in lieu. Multi-use paths at 495000 again from the valet grant in lieu. Sidewalks, sidewalk renewal program, 100,000. Valley Grant and Lou and the gas tax. Burtwood Trailer Court renewal, 600,000. And this is uh, part of a five year plan, 600,000 gas tax revenues. Road replacement, Thompson Drive commercial place, 410 gas tax revenues. The Thompson Regional Community Center parking lot lighting and UCN Drive shoulder remediation, 95,000 through an old debenture. This is not a current one. Uh, traffic light control cabinets, 55,000, and that's from gas tax. And the traffic light control cabinets are part of something we uh, need to update. Mm -hmm. Capital projects continued and seeing the equipment upgrades, the defibrillator, defibrillators, the dump truck, half tons, I even practiced saying it before I came, tractor, fitness area equipment, and access. Um, the Burtwood Curling Club ice plant, concessions, the bus shelter, Lions Park, again, just our contribution. The, and that uh, value is 493000 coming from the Infrastructure Reserve, Public Safety Reserve, and the Northern Health Region Grant. Safety projects, including additional street lighting, pedestrian corridor, firefighters accountability system, re-roofing the public safety building at a value of 115,000, uh, funded by the reserves accommodation tax, debenture, and the valet grant in lieu. And again, wherever we see debentures, those are old um, debentures that were taken out in a previous budget year. Small capital project upgrades. This is uh, where our staff <coughs> Excuse me. Spend some time allocating the smaller needs in our uh, community that are identified by them in their everyday work. And we see the need for the IT backup and storage, Asphalite, the tables and chairs for the new Thompson Regional Community Center, and again, cemetery upgrades at the value of 140000 coming from the Infrastructure Reserves Gas Tax and Trust. The completion of the 2013 capital carryover projects in the amount of 370,100, they're listed within, and that comes from both the reserves and debentures that we've referenced. Uh, just a breakdown of, uh, of those debentures that are being carry, carried forward. As we said, uh, 2014 includes no new debentures. The following debentures are the carryovers. So you see UCN Drive paving, 95,000, the TRCC South parking lot, the utility wastewater treatment plant, the work that needs to begin this year, and the utility establishment of 662,000. Again, the utility, the Public Utility Board approved the 2012-2014 rates in 2012, and current rates were implemented in January uh, January 1st, 2014. The 2014 water rates are set at 95, or 97 cents uh, per cubic meter and the sewer rates at 93 cents per cubic meter. The 2014 flat rate is 81.51 and that includes the 15 cubic meters of water. Last year's rate being 80.16. A rate study will be done in 2014 to determine the rates for the 2015 to 2017 years. The utility capital expenses include the water main and renewal or and sewer renewals, beginning the process of the wastewater treatment plant upgrades, the equipment that we mentioned before, both the tandem truck, sewer cleaner, lift station work, half ton truck, hydraulic diamond cutter, and the pub application preparation. Again, our revenues and expenses for the utility are the same, and starting at the top with the purple, uh, the major uh, portion being capital purchases, the small green layer being debt repayment, moving to sewer operating expenses, and then water operating expenses, and that's valued at uh, 5778000 So we'll do the mill rate comparisons. So this is a residential mill rate comparison. Uh, 
So I'll go through the uh, difference, seeing the provincial education support levy at zero, the school district Mystery Lake levy at 4%, and the city of Thompson levy at 1.8%, a total residential mill rate of um, minus 1.16%. And again, we're speaking in mill rates and for residential. So moving along to commercial, the difference between 2013 and 2014, the provincial education support levy, minus 3.7%, the school district of Mystery Lake levy, minus 4%, the city of Thompson levy, 1.8%, for a total commercial mill rate of minus 1.7%. So uh, moving along to the tax results, so now we're speaking in um, tax percentage increase. At a house assessment of 200,000, um, picking a round number, our average uh, home is 180,000, so we figured this was pretty close uh, for the example, with a 3.3 increase for 2014. So the assessment changed by 3.3%. The an increase of 3.3%. The school did, oh, <coughs> sorry. Yes, I'm in the right one, sorry. The school district of Mystery Lake at um, minus 1.1% and the city of Thompson levy of an increase of 5.1%. And this includes the assessment increase. It's built within. So the total taxes of 2.1% increase with next net taxes of 2.63%. So just a note on the bottom of the slide, um, the portion of residential assessment is 45% of the assessed value, or 90,000, that's taxable. So the same uh, chart or example with a commercial property assessed at 1 million in 2013, with 6.7% increase in 2014. So here we see, like I just said, the assessment at 6.7%, the provincial education support levy, an increase of 2.7%, the school district of Mystery Lake levy at 2%, the city of Thompson levy, including the assessment at 8.6%, for the total taxes being 4.8%. So the tax result for a business assessment of 100,200, um, no change in the business tax rate for 2014. So you can see how special levies, 2014 financial plan includes revenue from a special levy for water, storm, and sewer service line maintenance. The 2014 amount, 201,531, estimated at $63 per resident. 2013 amount being $58. And just to remind people, the city of Thompson was looking at other municipalities um, who do not and almost every municipality we found does not pay for the service line. Our community collectively stood up and said they wanted it to remain a part of the taxes and not have someone individually responsible. And that's where you uh, see this for residential properties. So what does this mean if you own a home with the average assessment of 206,600? You will pay the following taxes. So the breakdown of that um, the city of Thompson, 1,858. School district, 1,648. For a total cost of $3,506. Less the education tax credit for your primary home, minus 700. And total taxes payable, $2,806. We'll just go into that a little further. So what does this mean? So we'll, the next slides go through the $1,858 of those total taxes that you pay to the municipality. And here's the chart with the full breakdown, and we'll go by each uh, heading one by one here. 
general government of that amount you would pay two hundred and twenty dollars for general government and that includes the cost of um, the work that happens here in the chamber with council and our our mayor and council expenditures the administrative functions of the city manager finance HR IT purchasing legal fees insurance on all the city buildings assessment services and election costs which are right around the corner protective services for an annual amount of six hundred and eighty one dollars of that eighteen hundred and fifty eight so of that, a breakdown, $467 is going to the RCMP for the full complement of 300 and, or sorry, of 38 members plus their support staff, 149 for fire and ambulance service, which operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It includes 24 fire medics as well as five emergency medical dispatchers, two deputies, and our chief. The public safety program, animal control, and building inspectors. Transportation services of all your taxes, 369 towards, sorry, um, snow removal and streets and sidewalks, paving and pat patching the streets, street cleaning, sidewalks and curb repairs, street lighting, transit bus buses, and the handy van. Uh, 74 of that goes towards environmental health services, including your garbage collection, the recycling program, spring cleanup program, and the removal of waste in the community garbage and recycle cans. Public health and welfare services are costing you $25, uh, and that includes cemetery care and maintenance, as well as a social assistance payment to the province of Manitoba. The economic development services for an annual amount of $13, you're paying for the planning and development department, which deals with all the planning and development issues within the city of Thompson and the planning district. $299 is going towards the recreation and cultural services, which includes the Thompson Regional Community Center. Uh, and all the assets within there, the CA Nesbitt, Gordon Beard Arena, Bill Kamaski Wellness Center, and the walking track, the Norplex pool, the three outdoor rinks and wading pools, tennis courts, skate parks, all the area parks and green spaces, ball diamonds, soccer fields, Millennium Trail, brushing program, museum contribution, as well as to the library and zoo. The debentures, um, include $175 and the debt for the projects are the Thompson Regional Community Center, the parks like the Skate Park and Cliff Park, <coughs> RCMP Building, UCN Drive, transit buses and the fire truck. And those are previous debentures taken out. Before we go to council for clarification or comments on the presentation, a uh, reminder that that presentation that we just saw is available uh, online as well on the thompson.ca website and I believe a hard copy is available at City Hall as well. <coughs> 